at least once a week we talk kicks. Let's get straight to it. But hey, you know, I always gotta come in the beginning. This is the new page right here. People been looking for me. <laughs> it's not one video. You can click on every page on my YouTube. Why you blocked me? What happened to your old page? This is my new page on IG for the people that like to keep up with me in real time. I like to chop it up with people every single day. If you like short form content, it's all on my new IG and TikTok also. But IG was always my first platform. I was growing on. I had 150K followers, all that shit. We're getting back to that. I only had this page. It's been officially, what, almost two months since my page been down. And I grew 30,000 followers just like that, man. Again, the people fuck with me, man. I fuck with y'all, man. Uh, it's been blessings, though. We, I told y'all, give me six months. I then it won't be back where I was. But we doing good so far. But let's get straight to it. New pick up, too. Pick up, man. I had to, had to. And, uh, you know, you know, shoe of the year. Yes, we wear our shoes over here. Uh, I'm going to do everything in these motherfuckers. Jim casually wear all above. I think to me, this is the... Make a case. I like the Stormtrooper colorway. And this can likely be the best colorway at AE. Well, oh, he's, of course, it's going to be that one motherfucker that say, Oh, you wearing basketball shoes casually? I seen this video right here. For the niggas playing on rookie, basketball shoes have been shoe culture for the last 60 years. Basketball shoes made shoe culture. Look at these pictures. This is my favorite page, one of my favorite pages that explains shoe culture in a picture way versus me. I do videos and stuff. People been wearing basketball shoes for 50, 60 years. I, I, I love this page. Some of y'all need to do y'all info because y'all like to disrespect the ones that came behind y'all. I get it. Fashion trends, what's in, what's hot. I totally get it. I ain't mad at that. Y'all can wear the Asics and New Balance. I have Asics, Asics and New Balance. I get it. I get trends and all that shit, bro. I'm not old. I'm only fucking 30, bro. So I get that. But you can't disrespect the ones that came behind you. I like this picture right here. My man's with the modern day fit. Modern with the modern day fit with the KD4. See, even though it's some people in the comments talking about, oh man, he got basketball shoes, KD4. He made this shit work though. Sauce was always put put your spin on it. That's all it was, bro. Put your spin on it. Sauce dripping, dressing, all type of shit. Put your spin on it. He did that. Made the KD4s. Look good with the modern day shit that y'all wearing. And this is facts, bro. But yeah, basketball shoes been culture for years. Stop trying to change the narrative. That drives me crazy, bro. Like, like Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to ask this question for the people that watches the content. Do you adjust to today's, like, fashion and stuff like this? We, in, the, in the sense that we all do. I don't consider myself no fashion guru. I can put that shit on sometimes. I can put that shit on no times. I don't get, really get no fuck. I'm not really looking for no validation for nobody. Me, I'm a... Personally, I'm a, I do what I want. I wear what I want. Simple as that. I've never been like, oh man, I'm not there. Nobody's wearing those. I'm, I'm not gonna wear them. Never. I've always follow rule number one. Wear what you like. Simple as that. I'm rocking AEs. I'm rocking whatever I like, bro. I don't care about trends. Don't get me wrong. Some things I understand. You feel me? Some things I can say we was out of pocket. Things I thought we was out of pocket back then was wearing hyper dunks and shit. I didn't wear hyper dunks, but niggas was wearing hyper dunks around. Niggas was wearing 2K4 Harachi is one of my favorite shoes of all time. Those are two basketball. Do I agree with a lot of y'all what y'all say? Like, is certain shoes today, would you wear them? Hell no. <laughs> like, I think the books are wearable for sure. A E excuse me, the AEs are definitely wearable for sure. Especially the lows. The lows are I seen the lows are then I was like, I might have to put these down, but the lows was fire. The lows was fire. Uh they definitely fit more casually than the hats, but I'm rocking the hats too. Uh what else? The rest of the shit questionable, but like I get what y'all saying, but come on now. We 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 taking away we taking away y'all trying to change history like 
What are we talking about, bro? Respect the ones that came behind you. Respect the shoe game, bro. I get it. You follow trends. Uh, uh, uh. You one of those. If I can name your motherfucking outfit, y'all all got the same shit. The the, the graphic tee with the motherfucking cartoon character on it. Jean shorts, A6, and New Balance. Am I lying? Let's talk shoes. All right, let's get into this light news today. Uh, The Jordan 1 Reimagined. The Jordan 1 Reimagined comes out later this year. I'm not too crazy about them. Behind me, I have a pair of black toes. Mine's is pretty crispy throughout these years. I don't really need another pair. But it's 50-50. What makes it talked about today is the box. Am I, is anybody a box person in here? Like, I'm not going to lie. I, can a box convince you to buy a shoe? I'm leaning towards yes, because sometimes that box will do it. Like a lot of people might not like the 17, but the OGs and like the new ones that came out today come with that suitcase. It'll make you battle, motherfuckers. Bro. A box can make you buy something, and I think that's facts. Uh. Just some regular uh, black toe ones. None of them you never seen before. But that box might get me. If people that don't know, this is how it originally had a Jordan one black toe supposed to look. How Mike, how Mike had them with the with the with the Air Jordan spirit spelled out instead of the wings. Scott Lee. Um, it's a 50-50 cop for me. Uh, I know Jordan ones are dead to some of you guys, but for the people that want them, I think they'll be highly available. Football is back. Boy, who seen my video with Complex, man? Shout out to the Complex family, man. Uh, it's been good, man. Money been good. Can't even lie. But yeah, uh, NFL is back, man. Uh, Jalen Hurts is already out there with some crazy PEs. Uh, these are solid. I like these a lot. Jalen Hurts, definitely every video, every, every not video, every every game he got something crazy. These kind of remind, remind me of Kobe's a little bit. Uh, he had these green ones on. They look green. Is that green? I like green Eagles 11. These is fire, man. He always got something crazy on. And we had two crazy games, man. Hey, I got something to tell you. Like, my, when basketball season, because I'm over a breakdown of basketball. Yes, I fucking know the game and watch the game. When basketball season comes, I will be uploading the basketball content of, like, reacting to it. People on my Twitch and uh youtube live if you see that they've been one of it's like man you should do that you actually understand the game i actually watch fucking basketball like years it's like my life like as much as i know shoes i know basketball <laughs> like uh i break down the game like a coach or something like that but yeah i'm gonna probably do that them videos coming soon basketball season start but yeah jalen hurts had that shit on as always uh and we had two good games though but let's go to the next one kobe they are called these the kobe pro trophy year to mamba I'm going to continue to say I love Kobe. Rest in peace to the being my favorite player all time. These is nasty. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm not seeing the vision with these, you know. I always say this. Certain things you leave for the hoopers. Uh, nah, I mean, I see the details with the. Did you see the back? They're like snakes pattern. You can tell they kind of went the cheap route on these. Uh, the snake wrapping around a swoosh uh, and low key around a shoe it just don't do it for me. I like the icy sole though. Uh, yeah, I like the icy sole. <laughs> That's about it. Um, these Nike Dunks, the Halloween low. These is fire. I'm not gonna lie. The the the, the toe area got me with the skull. I don't even like Dunks. Y'all know I don't. This ain't even one of them. People always, oh, you talk about SBs. If you watch my content, I don't like I I do report SB news, but me talking SBs, gotta give it to the SB boys. It's just not me. I just don't like. I just never liked dunks, bro. I never liked dunks growing up. I don't like them now. Do I own some pairs? I own chunky dunkies because I got them for retail, and I bike in them motherfuckers. But if I show y'all my chunky dunkies, I'm like, damn. Uh, I got a pair. Of Jeff Staple gifted me a pair. Of of the staple dunks, the uh, the black ones, the panda, the panda pigeon. Shout out to Jeff. I'm always gonna shout him out for that. And I got uh off white lot seven for retail. If you, you would have bought them too. And I haven't worn them. <laughs> I haven't worn none of them but my chunky dunk because I bike in them. What you supposed to do? But yeah, these actually fire though. So I know people are like, oh, how do you like this? But you don't like this. And they, oh, yeah, and they, I wear Crocs all that shit. I'll be seeing y'all comments. Fuck you talking about. But yeah. Um, 
These are solid. These are solid. I, I probably, if I seen them in here or somebody gifted to me, I'll rock these. Uh, Justin Field gets a Reebok shoe. Now, I oddly like them. I'm going to miss that man in Chicago. They never gave my man a chance. Can we talk sports a little bit, bro? Just a little bit in the comments. If you, if you talk sports, if we talk sports, you can leave in the comments. I might comment back. Ah, I think these are nice colorways. Just can remind me this is a Chicago colorway. It's too fucking late. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, they say if you become the starter, he'll get... They talk about some other shit in these comments, but I like these. I guess they call these the Justin Field Reebok colorways, whatever. These are solid. I like the one on the bottom a lot. Hopefully, you know what? I hope the Steelers do my man's right, man, because he didn't. He 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 didn't get a fair chance in Chicago, man. That shit that shit still hurts. We hurt, but the uh, what's his name? Caleb Khalid Williams. I, I don't know. I ain't good with the names, but wish him wish. Hope he gives us what we need in Chicago, though, man. But yeah, I wish Justin Fields the best. Uh, we have new look of these Travis Scott Velvet Brown. Mm. Not gonna lie. It's like I don't hate them, but I don't like them. It's not that bad. It's on the dark brown kind of growing on me. Y'all know I be shitting on Travis Scott. I, I'm never gonna get a free pair. <laughs> as much as a bunch of free stuff I got from sponsors and brands and streetwear brands that fuck with me, Nike and Travis Scott, they gonna look at me like, boy, that boy ain't getting shit. <laughs> And I, I don't blame him. I, I think shit don't need that. Shit it's just, if I think if people talk about the same shit on these platforms, I'll be like, bro, stop the dick riding, bro. All these is not fire because the swoosh is backwards. If that bitch was forward, I promise you, you niggas would not report that shit. Uh, these look okay to me. Okay. Is that y'all happy? <laughs> They're bringing back the Jordan 4 denim. Brother, wow, for 2025, this is some 2025 news we did not need. If you don't know, Jordan Brand and Levi did a collab some years back. It was okay. What I liked about the collab, customizers like myself, we were distressing the shoes and making them look better because they were just straight denim. When they came distressed and all the other stuff, they looked it so fire. Uh, this is a more subtle version because the one that came out was like all denim midsole and everything. It was, it was a little nasty. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we don't need these. We don't. The jean shit worked in the 2000s. I'm not going to lie. Do it work today? Because I ain't going to lie. Let me see some jean Air Force One when I was a shorty. We were with the denim Air Force Ones. Boy, I went crazy back in the day. Bro. The bitches was so tough. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, these is nasty, I'm sorry. Here come the croc haters, you wear crocs, how the fuck you could, yeah, I wear crocs, nigga, I'm gonna keep saying it again, I wear crocs every day because they comfortable, hey man, they got me seeing y'all coming, who do not listen to the nigga that wear crocs, nah, nigga, you watching the video, shut the fuck up, oh, uh, they got these Powerpuff Girl crocs coming out, I grew up a Powerpuff Girl fan, I'm a 90s baby, I was actually watching that shit on HBO Max the other day, uh, these a little too girly for me though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they cool though. I, I, you fake and rock these bitches. I'm not gonna even hold you, but they kind of too girly. Like I love the Powerpuff Girls, but what I wear Powerpuff Girl gear though? No. <laughs> Taking away from my manhood a little too much. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Kind of my own Geechee side. I don't. I ain't trying to get nobody no suspicions or no shit. He got on what? I'm gonna be honest with you. My I say this all the time. No grown man should be wearing Nickelodeon jackets and Cartoon Network. You know, you know, pants and shirts. Maybe a shirt. You can get away with a shirt for sure. But like a whole. I be seeing niggas go to the Burlington's and get like <laughs> motherfucking uh uh motherfucking Nickelodeon SpongeBob whole jackets and shit. I be like, bro. You're 35. <laughs> like, what you doing? Rug, rug rat coats and shit? Nah, hell nah. I mean, it's time to grow the fuck up. But at, at the same time, I'm no fit guru. You know, where would you like? But never was appealing. <laughs> the Donovan Mitchell, Adidas, it, I, it's not even close if you ask me. Adidas won basketball this year. I, 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 I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep saying that. AE won Crazy Infinity. The Dame 9 is fire. The Harden 8, oh my god, like them all, at least two of them shoes I just named is least qualification for top 10 shoes of the year. 
uh, and the Donovan Mitchell, the spiders, bro, the, the new spiders, they smell subtle. I've never seen no Donovan Mitchell shoes. I'm like, man, I'm decent. I ain't gonna lie, he had that Crayola collab that was solid, though. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, Donovan Mitchell got some shoes. And the new ones, is, they more subtle. I ain't saying this is probably the worst of the new bunch of Adidas basketball signature athlete shoes this year, but they not bad. I like this black colorway, like, solid. Jordan Brand is coming out with a new lifestyle shoe. It kinda, I, I don't want to say have a buzz, but I've been seeing people have mixed feelings about these. Uh, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a collab or something. Um, I, I can't really remember the collab it was, but if you can remember a comment, a collab. It just remind me of them Jordan 4 lows with the RNs. That's what they remind me a lot of. Uh, it's definitely a pass for your boy. Uh, can I see the vision though? I certainly see the vision. It kind of reminds me like a two mixed with a four and with a three toe cap. I can definitely see that in this shoe. I don't think they horrible or no shit. I just don't play like that. You know what I mean? Uh, what's y'all thoughts on this? This is this angle right here definitely kind of like I can see the vision a little bit. I can see the vision. But where people go crazy for these, nah. Oh, this is a basketball skate shoe together. Basketball lifestyle skate shoe all in one. Okay, I kind of get what they was coming with this one. Uh, I can see the vision. The Jaw 2 has a new colorway. Uh, the Collies, the Murray State colorway. Uh, supposedly, I don't know why they make shoes like these. Because do people actually do it? Supposedly, you can cut the mesh upper off, which is this like whitish mesh upper and it reveals like the shoe under that so you can cut it off why i want to do that i don't fucking like, i don't want to cut i don't want my shoes i don't want to cut my shoes or do it myself now if it was like a peel option i would have been like all right cool but like getting like a knife or some scissors and, and cutting that off i feel like a lot of people gonna fuck up you know what i mean so i so they letting you cut it off and reveals like a design under that uh, there's no pictures of that because i guess they don't want to fucking do it but i'm not i'm not mad at the job too i just like too close to lebron so i'm not gonna lie it's lazy but this colorway is not bad the idea is like eh. like this next one quick uh the jordan 4 pure platinum this is a uh, grade school preschool taller only um he says, but would I buy my child is? No. But I don't have any kids. I had a funny comment the other day. I seen this a couple times. And you know who you are. You watch the con you watch the videos all the time. Somebody was like, stop buying all them shoes and start a family. Just because you're miserable at the crib, don't mean I gotta be miserable too. I ain't gotta start shit. I can buy as many shoes as I want. Because I got motion and I ain't got no motherfucking kids to worry about it. You hating ass nigga. And yeah, I got over 500 plus shoes to get y'all reviews and talk shit about. <laughs> nigga was mad in the comments talking about start a family. Nigga, I'm 30, doing fine. Motion is set. I'm good. Maybe start a family one day. But guess what? Not today, nigga. Uh, but yeah, these is, these is pass. Uh, for the kids. For the kids. Would you buy your kids this? I don't know. If I had kids... Probably no. Last news of the day, the Kobe 6 Pro Show All-Star 2.0. Not gonna lie, I like these a lot. I think I reported these on another video. Uh, they're just giving out more detailed looks for these. These is fire. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, it's like a calm fire. I ain't saying like, oh my God, do the most, do the most. I like how they, I think they was originally supposed to be like that sail color, but they ended up changing it to like stars on the upper because you know it's like snake skin material or whatever but they changed it to stars that's dope and it's coming out all-star weekend that what right there might be a pass because if you see the goddamn lineup for 2025 whatever the fuck you think you're gonna get some kobe's in between that and then then but bro i think we got metallic fast coming around coming out around that time galaxy phone posits it's like a bunch of heat dropping all at once around that time. Them Kobe's, boy, you don't have to pass, brother. You my man, but I'm going to say this too. You're starting to slowly see Kobe's 
sit and that's a good thing like y'all wasn't really fucking with them for real bro i keep saying this shit i'm said it on multiple videos y'all seen i don't know if it's y'all for locker though but i seen i seen the kobe's that dropped a few days ago the, the them them kobe's bro was when kobe was alive kobe was well and playing bro them kobe sat in the store 50 60 bucks back in the day but i'm gonna keep saying that remind y'all y'all not about that life though and i love kobe he don't make not all his shoes are the most attractive shoes. Those were all them basic Laker colorways and shoes, but were basic as hell. And then they trying to 180 for them motherfuckers. You niggas crazy. Like, come on, Nike. Be for real. Uh, I don't remember Kobe's being that high. Maybe because I always seen him on fucking sale. Like, come on, people, bro. Be for real, bro. Like, we ain't, we ain't even finna play with y'all, bro. Stop trying to resale everything, bro. Certain shit not meant for resale, bro. That 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 kills me. Yeah, if, if the content creator in me gotta stand up and say something to you, motherfuckers, bro. Stop it. Damn, you niggas don't like this shit for real. Yo, I be trying to catch everybody. I was talking to the full lock guy. He like, bro, it was a dude sitting there for for hour trying to uh, debate and calling somebody if 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 somebody should buy these, should he buy these and can he resell them? And I'm glad he fucking made the decision. That he knew he couldn't make no motherfucking money. They said he wasn't picking up the phone. Dude, whoever you call wasn't picking up the phone. Like, bro, who, if you watching this nigga, shout out to the Foot Locker, man. You should have told us that, man. Get the fuck out of the store, bro. You ain't gonna buy him, bro. You ain't gonna buy him, bro. Like, you ain't real shit. You shouldn't be in no Foot Locker so no more than 10 minutes. It don't take you no damn hour. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that's the shoe news for this week, man. Until next time, man, we on the road to 100K for the people that's finishing up. This is my new page. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. New page, man. Uh, it's been growing like crazy. I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, if y'all want to follow me on Twitch, too, we own Twitch. Like, I talk Twitch. Like, people chop it up on me with Twitch, Twitch and YouTube laugh all the time. Bro. Like, I get so much love. People popping in and out and there, chop it up with the guy. I'm always playing games, chopping it up. We talking sports. We talking bitches, hoes, all type of shit. Like, we have fun on my streams, bro. And I like people to just, I just gravitate towards people because I rock with the people, bro. We talk about everything. You need some advice? Come with the God, man. I'm doing a lot of, I went to school. I didn't go to school for therapy, but I went to, I had a lot of therapy class. I always been like a, a, a socialist person. Like people come to me with their problems, like shit. So, you know, you just, they come with the Twitch with that. So I rock with my Twitch family. They know what's up. But uh, yeah, until next time, people, I'll be yapping all day.